Good morning. The anointing of the Holy Spirit brings freedom. Do you believe that? If you believe that, praise God. If you that are watching this believe that, you that are hearing this believe that, you could be delivered today of anything that's got a hold of you. Drugs, alcohol, perversion, homosexuality, lesbianism, thievery, and all these sins of the world you could be delivered of if you believe that freedom comes through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. In the book of Psalms, I'm just looking at this over here, praise God, Psalms 147, praise the Lord for it is good to sing praises to our God. Amen? Amen. It is good to sing praises to our God for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. Amen? It's beautiful. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers together the outcasts of Israel. Or shall I say, the Lord builds up Jacksonville. And He gathers together the outcast of Ocean Lake. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. He calls them all by name. Great is our God, our Lord, and mighty in power. Amen? Amen? In power. It's exciting to know that soon and very soon, isn't there a song by that song? Soon and very soon, we're going to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In John 14, 1. Get this down, study it, praise God, and remember it. Let not your hearts be troubled. There are many people troubled in this world today. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believed in God. Believe also in me. Amen. That's Jesus talking. In my Father's house are many mansions, many buildings, many dwellings, it says. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place, what? For you. For you, praise God. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Amen? Amen. There you may be also. Glory be to God. This is what this is all about. Hallelujah. And that you can go to heaven. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, powerful anointing, Bring freedom. Amen? Amen? Liberty and deliverance. And that anointing is available to empower you for your ministry, if you're going to go with the ministry, for your life. Glory be to God. It's yours for the asking. Amen? Amen. It's yours. But there's something you got to do first. You got to be born again. Amen? You can't have this anointing unless you are born again. Right, Tom? Isaiah 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off the shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the Assyrian yoke shall be destroyed because of the what? The anointing. Amen. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage in people's lives. The anointing, glory be to God, will snap that drug problem, that alcohol problem, all those problems up that mountain in your life. It's the anointing that'll destroy it. Amen. Various versions translated Isaiah 10, 17 differently. In any case, the, the, the liberating, freedom-providing power of the anointed and other Bible versions validate the King James Version sense of bringing freedom from bondage. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing in the New Testament is the empowering by the Holy Spirit which comes in the baptism with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. 
Where, where do we find that? In, in the book of Acts, don't we? Praise the Lord. In, in the book of Acts, glory be to God. Acts 1, 5, and 8. For John truly baptized, what? With water. People say, well, I'm going to be baptized. Well, John truly baptized with water. It's a good thing. Amen? It's good to be baptized with water. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's not essential to salvation. What is essential to salvation is, is, is being born again. Glory be to God. But you shall be baptized with the what? The Holy Spirit. Not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the season which the Father had put in his own authority, but you shall receive power, dunamis, glory be to God, like dynamite. You understand what I'm saying? When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in Jacksonville, Florida, in New York City, in Dallas, Texas, in Los Angeles, California, and in that demonic city of San Francisco where it seems homosexuality has taken over that city. You shall be witnesses, glory be to God, to me in the other parts of the world. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And to the ends of the earth. And to the ends of the earth. Glory be to God. Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. Amen. There's power in the Holy Spirit. There's power in the Word of God. This is your tool, gentlemen. Always have it with you. Amen. If you want to succeed in life, glory be to God. I mean, uh, a carpenter has got his carpenter tools, don't he? A lawyer has got his books, don't he? A doctor's got his physician books, don't he? But a Christian, glory be to God, has got his book of instructions. Amen? Amen. His book of instructions. Jesus said, if you love me, you will, you will, yes, you will keep my commandments. Amen? You'll keep my commandments. You'll love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. And you'll love your neighbor as yourself. Praise God. we got neighbors next door. They're not interested in coming to church. But we pray for them. Glory be to God. we got neighbors like Mexico. we got neighbors like Canada. Love your neighbors as yourself. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 4.18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me. He has what? He has anointed me as we will see, the anointing of the Holy Spirit brings freedom, freedom, deliverance, and liberty. Amen. Look forward to it. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. 